Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's 5 o'clock on January the 11th, 2024. This is the meeting of the Board of Public Works and Safety. Um, I'll call the meeting to order and announce we do have a quorum present. Our first order of business is the election of a board chairman. Do we have any nominations? I would nominate Jim here in the service board chairman. I'll second. And we don't is there any comments or other motions for a board chairman? With that, the nominations will be closed and we'll vote by roll call vote. Please state aye. Barbara Lawrence. Aye. Zachary Brown. Aye. Jim Perrin. Okay, Jim, you're the president. You can come over and take over the meeting. Okay, is that what you do for him? Right. <laughs> He's then promoted. He doesn't say anything to not sit by me, right, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> you know now he has to sit by me. <laughs> All right. We're going to want nominations. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Uh, at this point, we'll hear nominations for Vice Chairman of the Board. I nominate uh, Barbara Lawrence. I second that. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> or the President, maybe. It's been moved and seconded to uh, nominate Barbara Lawrence as Vice Chairman of the Board of Public Works and Safety for the City of Lawrence. Uh, are there any other nominations? Uh, being, there being none, nominations are closed. Uh, Madam Secretary, if you call the call okay. roll, please. Uh, roll call vote, signify by saying aye, please. Barbara Lawrence. Aye. Zachary Brown. Aye. And Jim Perrin. Aye. Congratulations, uh, Madam Vice Chair, Chairperson. Uh, the next item on our agenda is the approval of the regular meeting minutes of the board from December 14th, 2023. This is a strange situation because none of you were present for that meeting. I am going to certify that these minute meeting, the minutes of this meeting are true and accurate. And as evidenced by the video that is available out on YouTube. Um, and I am requesting that they be approved by this board, please. And I, I move approval of the minutes. It's been moved to approve. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. I, aye. Or should you call it? No, you can do the rest by okay, ice. Okay. Uh, any any uh, no no votes? Okay. The motion carries. The uh, minutes are approved from the de December 14th, 23 meeting, meeting. Next item on the agenda is uh, unfinished business, which uh, the agenda indicates that there is uh, not any. Uh, and so we move on to new business. And uh, item A is the approval of the revised Lawrence Police Department use of force policy. Hello, I am Deputy Chief Klein from Lawrence Police Department. Welcome to all three of you. Thank you. Uh, which one did you say was first? Use of force. Use of force? Yes. Um, so on the use of force policy, um, the police department released, recently purchased some pepper ball uh, launchers basically crowd control, um, they could be used for a myriad of different things. So we just had to add the pepper balls into our current use of force policy. Is that the pepper ball launchers that I, I read in the? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's it on that policy. Okay. Um, Chief, there was something I noticed, I think it was on page seven. Uh, where it talks about uh, the investigation of an incident, uh, incident investigation, and uh, that the chief of police is to send uh, the report, his report, to the deputy mayor or the mayor's uh, designee. And I was wondering, uh, upon reading that, that uh, is my understanding, if uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that there actually is not a deputy mayor position in, in right. existence. And so uh, would it be appropriate to change that wording to uh, uh, the chief submit, submit the uh, report, uh, his investigation report, to the mayor or the mayor's uh, designee? It looks like it says deputy mayor or the mayor's designee yes. on already. Yeah, but there there's not a deputy mayor, so we just make it. Do you just want it to say mayor's designee and take out deputy mayor altogether? To uh, the mayor, I was I was going to suggest the mayor or the mayor's de designee, if that makes okay. sense. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
And if you, I mean, we can make that change and then can, is it all right just to enforce it? Yeah. If, once you guys vote. Well. So what I'd say is pending the change in the document. I'm sorry. Sorry, Curtis. Speak on this? Of course, Chief. I'm the Chief of Police, Curtis. Yes, Bixby. sir. Welcome. Um, thanks so much and welcome everybody to the Board of Works. I know it's your first meeting uh, for this one, but um, I guess it gives the mayor a little bit more latitude in the event that she does have a deputy mayor mm -hmm. or has another designee. So I would rather keep that into the policy so that we don't have to take that out and then she has to wonder if she has to appropriate somebody else to do, you know, to do the work okay. um, when she's having conversations with me. Because most of those are done with uh, internal affairs investigations. It was it was just a technicality uh, in, insofar as it is my understanding that there is not actually a, a, a deputy mayor. The previous administration, I understand, use that that terminology but i don't know uh, but what's what's the board the board other board members have any uh, thoughts on this i would recommend just keeping as is uh okay. to give also the the mayor the ability to in the future appoint a deputy sure. mayor sure. just have the language already okay. reflect that okay i just wanted to raise the point but uh yeah that, that that's fine if that's that's good with everybody okay any that's it. I'm on the next two. Okay. Uh, do we want, we want to take a vote on this, uh, the use of force policy? Yes, separate, please. Separate. So. Every item. Okay. Uh, is there a motion to approve the uh, revised Lawrence Police Department use of force policy? I'm Mr. Chairman, I move approval of the revised Lawrence Police Department use of force policy. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Being none, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 The, the uh, approval of the revised uh, police department use of force policy is, has been made. Uh, please proceed with the next item, which is the approval of the right, revised Lawrence Police Department authorized uniform equipment policy. So this one, um, we're just making a change to our, it's not really a change, we're adding a style of, it's called a molly vest, it's the outside carrier that the officers wear on duty. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of a supply and demand issue. We have switched currently to a new uh, supplier when we hire on a new officer. We went to a different company. So this company has a just, it's a very minor difference in the vest style, um, but they're cheaper and are more readily available at this place. So we're just adding it as an option. The officers don't have to switch to it, but when, there's, when their old Molly vest wears out, this is a place that they can go and get this vest, and they, they have a lot of our sizes in stock. So that's the only change on that one is just a, a Molly. Just out of curiosity, who's the vendor on this? Is it Uniform House? We used to use, well, we, a lot of the officers can still use Uniform House, but we've started going to Nelson's Uniform. Okay. It's up uh, on 46th Street, I think. Okay. Okay. Just curious. Okay. Uh, any further questions? Comments? Nat, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, uh, uniform equipment policy revision. I move approval of the revised Lawrence Police Department and authorized uniform equipment policy. I will second. Been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Please proceed with uh, item C approval of the revised Lawrence Police Department defensive tactics policy. So um, as a department, we're mandated by the state on how we train. Uh, the state um, law enforcement training board is gonna make a change to the defensive tactics policy sometime this year. This is going to be the policy that they're going to adopt. So we're just asking to, so that we can start following it now, get it implemented. Okay. Any discussion, questions? <laughs> If not, uh, entertain a motion to approve the uh, uh, Lawrence Police Department Defensive Tactics Policy Revision. So moved. I'll second. Been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Proceed. Much. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. The next item is item D, which is the approval of agreement between Lawrence Fire Department and testing for public safety LLC or TPS. Chief. Hello, I'm Bob Wallace, Fire Chief, Lawrence Fire Department. Welcome to the board. I appreciate your guys' service. Um, this is just an approval for the place we use for our promotion process. 
we do a hiring process every odd year and a promotion process every even year. And so we're just up to do this promotion process and we'd appreciate the approval. All right. Any questions? Just because I'm new here and I'm curious about these things, how many firefighters are on, on staff? We have uh, 83 firefighters is our force. We have two in training right now. But when we're fully staffed, we have 83 firefighters, and we have also 18 civilian EMS, uh, EMT slash paramedics. Okay. And you do 24 on, 48 off? Yes. Okay. Okay. Any further further Sorry, questions? Sorry, I'd like to learn. Oh, no problem. <laughs> no, no, we, we have a lot to learn, so bear, bear with us, uh, well, Chief. That's okay. Th thank, thanks very much. Uh, any other further questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the agreement between the Lawrence Fire Department and Testing for Public Safety, LLC. I move approval. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Chief. Thanks, Chief. The next item on our agenda is item E, uh, which is approval of release of improvement bond for erosion control towns at Fort Harrison. I'm going to take this. This is, um, I put these items on. Mm -hmm. All of these, um, there is a new townhomes going right over here behind the buildings next door to us. And they're called the Towns at Fort Harrison. And they've put all their infrastructure in. It has been inspected by our, cons our we have a third party that inspects it for us. And um, they provided bonds, but they didn't need to because this is not going to become city assets. Mm. And so this is a, we need to, because they presented the bonds, I have to have a formal release of the bonds in order for them to cancel them. So that's what each of these is all, the base binder, erosion control, surface asphalt, storm, and curbs. All of these are gonna remain private and not come into city inventory. So I don't need the improvement bond and I don't need a maintenance bond. So, but we did inspect the improvements and they all do meet code. Great. So. Um, if we can do a blanket on all of them, or if you guys would like to do them individually, that's up to you. What's, your, what's the board's pleasure in that regard? I was going to ask to bundle if possible. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, sure, we can, we can. I appreciate that. We, we can expedite if, the, if there's a motion to that effect. Uh, we'll uh, I move approval of the release of bonds as presented. Second. So, so that's uh, E through I, all, everything having to do with towns of here. Yes, thank you. Okay. Perfect. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. And then the two. Uh, the, yeah, the uh, next session. item is uh, uh, the approval of uh, Reserve Officer Matthew Miller and also the approval of Reserve Officer Jessica Babb. Uh, we have two um, new Reserve Officers. Matt Miller was a 26 year veteran of, he was a merit officer for the department, uh, retired at the rank of sergeant just the beginning of January. He's asked if he could come back as a reserve officer and we'd love to have him. Uh, the other is Jessica Babb. Um, she is currently works as a special deputy in Hendr Hendricks County in the courts. Um, she'll be a great addition as well. All right. What's the pleasure of the board? Do you want to take both of these or do you want to take them individually? I think since they were presented as one, if we could just take it together. Sure. That's the pleasure? Yeah. Agreed. Is there a motion, motion to that effect? I move to accept the reserve officers as, a pre, as presented. I'll second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? I, I have a little. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. So on Sorry. Uh, January 8th, they were sworn in. Okay. Um, so if we could have the effective date, date be January 8th. Ret retroactive to Monday, uh, January 8th. Is that? I move approval as of January 8th. I okay. second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? No, sir. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, at this point, we uh, uh, have uh, time for comments from the administration. Are, are there any such? Not at this time. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chief of Staff. Uh, the next item is um, citizen comments. Is any, would anybody like to... Uh, in the audience, like to address the board. Yeah, the, and I didn't have up. anything emailed to me. Okay. Um, my email's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. If anybody wanted to have comments, and there was nothing sent, so. 
yeah. meeting will be a, a study in uh, government efficiency. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, at this point, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I move adjournment. I will second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you so much.